Hey loves, it's Mistress Valerie here once again. Welcome back. As you can see, my place looks a little bit different this evening. Um, got my laptop here. Actually got a really pretty guitar that a client gave to me. Not sure if you can see, but it's actually signed by Papa Emeritus from Ghost. Um, well, I just recently found out about from being given this guitar, so yeah, I've been um, recording today, recording some vocal and uh, cello tracks for uh, for my album, actually. Um, finished a couple of my own originals and did some work on a couple covers I'm doing, so making some progress and feeling very good. It's just, and it's also been a lot of uh, self-care and empowerment, so... Um, yeah, I'm in much better spirits than last week. Um, I'm working through a lot of, um, you know, a lot of those feelings of guilt. Yeah, I've been really reaching out to people that I hurt, rebuilding bridges that were burned not only by me, but also the bridges burned by Anya and Agatha as well, so... There's a lot of work left to do, but you know I'm on a good um, I'm on a good pace with it, so I'm getting there. Um, coming up on three weeks sober, that's pretty awesome. Feeling good with that. But this week, um, so well, well, that's all been good. The week has still been kind of stressful because of work. Um, as a lot of you know, I do sex work of all sorts, which includes being a dominatrix and doing porn and whatnot. Um, my dom work's been pretty busy. It's kept, you know, and of course there's just that usual work stress. But it's been the porn stuff that's been like really, really stressful and kind of brutal this week. So I used to be employed as a model for the largest producer of trans porn. I'm not going to use names. Um, not trying to start a war or nothing, but, or like, you know, implicate anybody, but yeah, I was employed with them until very recently when, um, I'd asked them to, you know, with my last shoot with them last month, I'd asked them if it'd be possible to use a different model name for me moving forward you know, what we did in the past, yeah, whatever, you know, that, you don't have to change that, but, you know, if we could just, like, label it under Valerie Page, you know, as I do have disassociative identity disorder, and that's something I do advocate about in terms of awareness and empowerment for people with that disorder, and they got really, really, really pissed off at me about it pretty much publicly shamed me over it. And not only did they refuse to change it, um, when I explained my case in a very civil manner, they decided to just to delete everything I've ever done with them. You know, as if I've never existed. So, that's pretty screwed up for a company that claims to be so progressive. This is a company that shames anyone who's different or questions the status quo or pursues their own path or anything like that, and that's just not responsible. So, don't work with them anymore. And then earlier today, like, they're doing um, fan voting for this award, for the Transgender Erotica Awards, and they had a bunch of my fans get in there and vote, and... It all kind of happen at once. Sometimes when you're doing Twitter, sometimes you just get like a burst of something at once if everyone happens to be online. And yeah, a whole bunch of people voted at once and it was assumed that it was all that I was just spamming the voting or something. And so like any vote that's been cast for me has been deleted. And now I'm being publicly shamed as some quote unquote stupid person trying to spam them. It's like, what What the hell? You know, it's, they act like they're in junior high or something. So, yeah, that's been 
pretty shitty, but it's also been empowering because it's facilitating what I want to do. Um, I'm starting up a, I think I've mentioned this before, but I'm starting up a multimedia production company called Black Swan Productions. The ultimate goal for this will be like a general photography studio, videography, which can be films, music videos, whatever, and also a recording studio and record label. That's much, much down the line. I'm going to need a lot of funding. I'm going to need to get a lot of my own shit together for all of that. It's going to take years. But for a start, given my work, it's starting out as a porn company and um, a photography service, um, all sorts of photography. That being said, on the porn aspect of it, I'm going to be focusing on queer activism, the empowerment of marginalized groups rather than the exploitation of marginalized groups, which is what a lot of these bigger companies do. They claim to care, but no, they exploit. They make their money off of exploiting people. And Black Swan Productions is going to not do that. Yeah, you know, we're going to be sexing all that. And people can get the release they need, but they're also going to get much needed education. Some people will watch it and get empowered and realize how beautiful they can be, even if they don't fit the quote unquote you know, standard look, which is based on very outdated ideologies, you know? It, it is. It's, you know, this view of the white heteronormative look that's non-counterculture. That is so outdated and downright harmful to so many people. So... Yeah, it's going to be, I'm going to, you know, what I'm going to be producing and with the help of other people, it's going to be about empowerment. It's going to be about erotic art. It's going to be about I see when I love you. It's going to be about all of that where everyone is beautiful in their own way and that's going to be represented. It's not about getting the sexy shot. It's about getting the right shot for the individual and what makes that person unique and beautiful. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, it's kind of sad that something like that would be considered radical in 2018 in the Bay Area, but here we are. Um, it may flop like a magic harp, but you know what? I, I got to try. You know, like, getting shat on by that company I used to work for. I could sit there and wallow in the shit or I could turn it into fertilizer and create a garden. And you know what, that's the option I'm gonna go. Black Swan Productions is my garden. Eventually it'll be the garden of many people. Cause it's not gonna be just about me, it's gonna be about the people. So yeah. This week as hard as it's been in terms of on a professional level, it's also very representative of moving on, like resurrection and moving forward. Really getting some beautiful things going with my music, getting people excited about Black Swan Productions. I've got some shoots lined up with some awesome people who are going to bring some unique things and skills and whatnot to the table. Um, reconnecting with old friends. You know, it's good. It's hard. It's been hard, but it's going to be good. It's like, it's very beautiful. It's that whole idea of compost theory all over again. The turning, turning shit into fertilizer, which can turn into a garden. And that's what I'm doing. You know, that's like, I'm on edge from missing the alcohol and all that and dealing with some emotional crap, but I'm all right. You know, I'm going to be all right. To quote Lady Gaga, I may not be flawless, but you know I've got a diamond heart. So, that's, uh, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. Um, actually, if you want to find out more about Black Swan Productions, if you want to get involved somehow, um, 
shoot me an email at tsvaleriepage, P-A-I-G-E, at gmail.com, and um, let me know how you'd like to help. If you want to model for me, if you want to help with, like, production, you know, or I hate asking for this, but, like, if you want to donate to the cause, you know, if you're able, you know, um, you know, whatever. Also, I'm looking for new musicians to work with for bands and whatnot, so there's that. Um, and also, of course, as always, if you want to weigh in on this topic, if there's a new project you're working on, or if you're feeling that moving on and taking a risk and standing up for something, because it's important to stand up for something, even if it puts you in the firing squad, tell me about it. You know, we can get through this together. You know, if we all sit around and put up with the status quo, it's gonna the status quo is gonna keep happening. We can complain about all we want, but you just gotta take action. So, yeah, if you wanna tell me about any action you're taking, you know, some struggles you're dealing with, please like comment below or email me. You know, we'll get through this together. Cause you know what? I see you and I love you. We got this. We got this. All right, loves. It's like 2 in the morning. I need to get some sleep. We'll see you next week. Love you. <laughs>